So this um, video is all about the Kahoot quiz I made on circles. So uh, before you watch this, I would have a go at the quiz itself first. Just follow the link below. So um, if you're ready, let's get on with question one. So in the following diagram, you're going to see in a minute, what is the name of length A? So length A is going from one side of the circle through the center all the way to the other side of the circle. That is the diameter of the circle. So in a minute, we're going to see the same diagram and we're going to have to say what the name of length B is. Well, the length from the center of the circle to the outside of the circle is called the radius. So two lots of radius would equal a diameter because it would go from there to there and there to there and equally the same the other way around. So our answer is radius. And then finally, we're being asked for the length C, which is the length all the way around the outside of the circle, so the perimeter of the circle, well that's got a special name, that is the circumference of the circle. So just take on board the fact the radius, diameter and circumference are all lengths. So what is the formula for the area of a circle? It is pi r squared. So our class learned cottage pies delicious, apple pies are too. Apple pies are too. Area of a circle, pi r squared. So formula of a circle, it's again following that rhyme, cottage pies delicious, apple pies are too. Cottage pies delicious. So circumference is pi times the diameter of a circle. So we're going to have to work out the area of the circle. Now area is pi r squared, so pi times the radius times the radius again. Well the radius of this circle is 3, so it's going to be pi times the radius times the radius again. That's pi times 3 times 3. Now the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter. Well, we're given the diameter here, so it's simply pi times 6. Pi times the diameter for circumference. So we're going to have to work out this area of the circle. So area pi r squared. Well, on this occasion we're given the radius, so it's pi times this radius squared. And that's pi times 4 times 4. Be careful, radius squared means radius times radius. So it's pi times 4 times 4, not pi times 4 times 2. Circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter. Well, the diameter of the circle will be the length all the way across, which is 8. So it will be pi times 8. So the answer is the red one. Now, the area of a semicircle. So this is just the area of half a circle. So imagine it was a whole circle. You would do pi r squared, which would be pi times 4 times 4. Well, we want half of that because this semicircle is taking up half the space. So it's half of pi times 4 times 4, which is the gold answer. Now, perimeter of the semicircle, the length all the way around. Well, the curvy bit is going to be half the circumference. Now, the circumference is pi times diameter. So the whole circumference would be pi times 8, wouldn't it? That would be the whole circumference, because the diameter would be 8. We want half of that, so we want half of pi times 8. But be ever so careful, that just gives you the length of the curvy bit half the circumference. For the perimeter, we've got to go all the way around the shape. So not only the curvy bit, but also the straight line across the middle. And in other words, the 
the circumference, uh, sorry, the diameter, which is 8. So we want half times pi times 8 plus 8, so our answer is the gold answer.